What's up everyone, Adam here from Cape Crawlers and today we're going to start modifying our Axial UTB18 Capra. Welcome back to the channel everybody, got a fun video for you today. We're going to kick off the Axial UTB18 Capra build. So we've got our hands on basically the whole suite of upgrades that Axial has available for these things. Now the Capra is super capable out of the box, probably, I mean not probably, it by far is the most capable crawler that I have because number one, it's the biggest. And number two, it's just got a lot of capabilities right out of the box, just in general. So it works really well. It's a great performer right out of the box. But there are some ways that I think we can improve it. Number one is the steering. Number two is make it a little less tippy. You want to make it a little more planted. And number three, I think we just want to get rid of these cheapy looking wheels and tires. Not the tires. I love the tires. But these wheels got to go. So that's kind of our plan here. So why don't we dive in and take a closer look at the upgrades that we got, and then we'll start working on this thing. Okay, let's take a look at what we got for upgrades here. So, like I said, I've got pretty much the whole suite of Axial upgrades. I got this for a bunch of different reasons here. One is that there was a lot of things that I wanted to improve that these things immediately address. Another is that these are sold out everywhere online and my local hobby shop had them so i wanted to get everything before i needed it or decided that i need it because it looked like they were going to be unavailable for a little while so anyway let's take a look at what we got here so we got the brass portal covers for the front these are heavy 30 grams feel very heavy we got the wheel hexes the brass wheel hexes these are seven grams those also feel pretty solid these are, I'm excited for this. This is the overdrive portal gears. So these are, you know, seven bucks and metal portal gears to go in the front to overdrive the front. So the front tires will spin faster to improve our turning radius and our climbing ability optimistically. Over here, we have our linkage. So most importantly was the steering linkage assembly. If you saw my Capra review video, you know that I complained pretty severely about the rubber steering linkage that comes on these from the factory. So this is gonna be an awesome upgrade, I feel. For the rest of the linkage underneath, I wasn't in a huge hurry to replace these. The upper links are composite, but the lower links are metal, but they don't sell them as upper and lower sets. They sell them as front and back. So if I wanted to replace the upper links with metal, I had to do all four links. So that's what I've got here. They're not a tremendous amount of money. They're $14 each. So I figured why not just get them and go through the whole thing and do everything all at once. Last but not least, I got these monsters. Check these out. These are just kind of no-name Proline Hyrax clones on these nice orange aluminum beadlock wheels. These are 1.9s. They're gonna be much bigger, much, much bigger than stock. I think it, <laughs> it's like cartoonishly big. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited to see the wheels on there. The tires are going to be crazy, but maybe we just run them until we can get a good 1.55 tire to replace these with. They weren't expensive. They were about $50 on Amazon for the whole set of wheels and tires. So we're going to throw them on, if anything, for comic relief and just for entertainment purposes. Now, before I start wrenching on this thing, let's put it on the indoor course. Now, the Capra can shred the indoor course because it, it's so big and it's so capable. So you're not really going to see a tremendous amount of gains after the modifications, but it's rainy and super crappy outside, so I can't really do a before run. And plus, the Capra can crush the outdoor course like nobody's business either. So I don't really have anything in the immediate vicinity that I can really test this thing for a before and after perspective. But we'll play around on the indoor course just to kind of give you some perspective. And then we'll throw the upgrades on and we'll see what difference it made.
All right, let's take a look at the Monster Capra. Holy smokes, does this thing look outrageous, doesn't it? My goodness, the wheels and tires on this thing are bonkers. I love the orange wheels, I gotta say. The orange aluminum wheels and the beadlocks look fantastic on this thing. I am not sure about the tires though. Holy cow, what a statement, huh? <laughs> it's just like cartoonishly ridiculous looking. But I want to give it a shot. You know, it's I put them on here. Love the wheels. We'll see how it goes with these things on here. First impressions, it's like it blows my head off just looking at this thing. But anyway, we're going to give it a shot. So it feels very heavy, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting it to feel as heavy as it did, but I feel all the weight. And it's just everything combined makes this thing feel really, really solid. So I'm really anxious to try this thing out. The parts look really good. Fit and finish was excellent. Everything went on super duper clean. I guess that's what you get when you get the genuine axial parts. These things bolted up, no problem. I kind of wish there was a different color option available. You know, this kind of bronze aluminum, not a huge fan of against the orange and gray, but nonetheless, they do look good as a standalone item. I'm glad I did all the links. You know, they do have just a really kind of beefy and cool look to them. So I'm anxious to try this out. So why don't we do this? So let's get it on the indoor course. You know, we got to do at least do our benchmark run. And then the weather has improved. So we'll see if I can get it outside and get some good crawling footage and see if we can take it somewhere to really stress this thing out. Got I got to test the capabilities on this monster now so let's hit the indoor course and see how it does and then we'll take it somewhere else and kind of stress test it a little more and see what it can really do so it's about a week after i shot that initial footage where i put all the modifications everything onto the capra and it's been that long because as soon as i took the capra out on the outdoor course i really wanted to try it out on the rock course i broke an axle within seconds and <laughs> I was so bummed because I, I got up over maybe one or two obstacles out back and it got like two or three pictures and a little bit of content for Instagram and then just going up over a relatively easy obstacle and it just just popped and then the passenger side front passenger side wheel just stopped spinning so it broke right at the union where the stub and the axle shaft connect and thankfully you know shout out to axial and horizon hobby for hooking me up under warranty and get me a new set of axles pretty swiftly so we're back up and running with the capra it's in good shape now we're going to really get it out on the course i'm going to do the indoor course first before i hit the rocks with it so let's put it on the indoor course and see what the aftermath is with all these modifications and see what this thing can do and then i'm going to take it out to the rocks i've got a spot in mind that I can get to, which I think will be really fun with the Capra. It was too much for the 124s, but I think it'll be perfect to really stress test our Capra here. So let's check out the indoor footage and we'll go from there. Oh boy, here's the monster Capra on the indoor course. Look at this thing. Let's give it a whirl, see how it goes. When this thing hooks up, it's like crazy. I don't want to jump off the table.
So let's talk about the Capra on the indoor course. It's almost comical to watch this thing bound around on the indoor course because it's really the capabilities of this thing have far exceeded the indoor course at this point. It was really difficult to drive it on the indoor course because it was just when the when these tires hooked up, it wanted to just launch off the tabletop. And I really had to use a lot of restraint and it was really difficult not to overshoot obstacles and have this thing really go bonkers off the tabletop. So that was I, it was good and bad at the same time, I guess. It was bad because I really wanted to see what this thing could do, and I really want to enjoy it on the indoor course. But it's good because this thing is a monster, and it is just like thundering around on the indoor course. The whole tabletop was shaking all over the place with this thing ramming around all over it. I mean, nothing on that tabletop is any sort of challenge for this thing. So... I need to get it outside. So why don't we do that? Let's take off. We're going to go hit my rock pile, good rock spot that I said I used to take the 124s to, but it was got to be too challenging. So there's some really aggressive big rocks there. So we're going to take the capper there. I think it'll be perfect for that. So let's go on a little, little road trip. We'll go to this spot and see what this thing can really do.
Now that was where the Capra really shines. That was a ton of fun. And it was great to see what this thing is really capable of in the situation where it really belongs. That was awesome. I had a blast with this thing. So I have to say that the more I use the Capra, the more I really, really like it. Really like it. I'm having a blast with this thing. The mods really made a big difference. It's much more planted. Even with these big, tall tires, I thought it would be more top heavy. I thought kind of the, the height from the tires would cancel out the added weight and the stability from the hexes and the portal covers, but it didn't feel like that. It felt much more planted on side hills and vertical climbs. It did really good. I do think it was a pretty measurable improvement over stock from a stability standpoint, especially on the side hills, which I was really pleasantly surprised with. On steep approaches, I did feel that it would it would loop out and go over backwards a little easier. And I feel like that was for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like the tires were just so big that the front, if it was coming up against an obstacle, they would just push the front end off of the rock. And then I also ran into some situations where the tires would bite at the bottom so hard that they would just flip the rig over backwards. But in any case, it was kind of canceled out by the benefits of these things because when you do even if it would get like one lug one set of lugs on the top of an obstacle it would then just like rip itself right up over so the pros definitely outweighed the cons there i feel it performed really really well i was just having so much fun and it is just really starting to make sense this the scale and the capabilities and the fun factor of this rig that like i said the more i, I use it the more i like it it's quickly becoming one of my favorite rigs, I gotta say. So these mods really just boosted performance significantly. I would like to try it with the stock tires on it with these modifications to see how it does with the smaller tire. These giant monster tires on it. Still, I mean, as, as awesome as they hooked up and as well as it did out there, they're just so outrageous to look at. I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep them. They, are, they sure are fun, though, so we'll see. In any case, I do want to try the stock tires and then maybe get a set of smaller tires to put on these things. One thing I do notice is, though, to step up the scale, the upgrades cost a whole lot more tires and wheels and everything. It's a whole new ball game for the wallet and the fun factor, so i got to consider that as well. can't just throw parts at this thing as an experimental phase without considering the budget aspect of it. It's cool, it's worth it, and it's starting to make more and more sense, this scale and this rig, the more I use it. So I really enjoy it, having a ton of fun. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Monster Capra now? Pretty awesome, right? Let me know your thoughts, I wanna hear from you all. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned, we're gonna to continue to build this thing out and see what we can get out of the Capra. We're gonna keep having fun with it and keep it rolling. And I'll see you in the next video.